Did you know that some of the objects we see in the sky are older than the universe itself? How is that possible? Well, it turns out that our current estimate of the age of the universe may be wrong. Very wrong. In fact, a new study suggests that our universe is twice as old as we thought and that changes everything we know about its history and evolution. In this video, we will explore this shocking discovery and what it means for our understanding of the cosmos. We will also look at some of the mysteries and puzzles that led scientists to question the age of the universe in the first place and how they used a new model to solve them. So buckle up and get ready for a journey through time and space as we reveal how old our universe really is. The age of the universe is one of the most fundamental questions in cosmology. It tells us how long the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, the colossal explosion that created everything we see today. For decades, scientists have been using two main methods to estimate the age of the universe. The first one is based on measuring the rate of expansion of the universe, known as the Hubble constant. By observing how fast galaxies are moving away from us, we can calculate how long it took them to reach their current positions, and thus how long ago the Big Bang happened. The second method is based on studying the oldest stars in the universe, which are found in ancient globular clusters. By measuring their brightness and color, we can estimate their age and infer the minimum age of the universe. Using these methods, scientists have agreed on a value of about 13.8 billion years for the age of the universe, with an uncertainty of about 20 million years. This value is consistent with various observations and models of cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the leftover heat from the Big Bang that fills the entire sky. However, there are some problems with this value, some problems that have been bothering astronomers for a long time and challenging our current theories and assumptions about the universe. These kinds of problems make us wonder if we are missing something big. One of these problems is that some stars and galaxies seem to be older than the universe itself. That's right, older than 13.8 billion years. For example, one star in our own galaxy called Methuselah has an estimated age of 14.5 billion years, which is clearly impossible if the universe is younger than that. But Methuselah is not alone. There are many other stars and galaxies that appear to be too old for our current estimate of the age of the universe. And the James Webb Space Telescope has just recently discovered some of them. One of JWST's first discoveries was a group of galaxies that were around just 300 million years after the Big Bang, which is less than 3% of the current age of the universe. These galaxies are not only very old, but also very small and compact, with diameters of only a few thousand light years, compared to the Milky Way's diameter of about 100,000 light years. They are so unusual and unexpected that they have been dubbed the impossible early galaxies, because they seem to contradict our current theories about how galaxies form and evolve. How did these galaxies become so small, dense and active in such a short time? And how did they survive the harsh conditions of the early universe, such as the intense radiation and the frequent collisions with other galaxies? Some researchers have claimed that these kinds of findings are in fact mistakes, but what if these discoveries are not anomalies or errors? What if they are telling us something important about our universe? What if our universe is much older than we think? This is exactly what a new study by Rajendra Gupta, a physicist from the University of Ottawa, proposes. In his paper published in Physical Review D in November 2021, Gupta claims that our universe is not 13.8 billion years old, but 27 billion years old. That's right, twice as old as we thought. How did he come up with this number? Well, he challenged some of the assumptions and methods that we use to calculate the age of the universe and introduced some new ideas based on existing theories. One of his main arguments is that we have been misinterpreting the redshift of light from distant galaxies. Redshift is the phenomenon that happens when light from an object moving away from us stretches towards the red end of the light spectrum. By measuring this redshift, we can estimate how fast the object is moving away from us and how far away it is. This is how we determine the rate of expansion of the universe, and hence its age. But Gupta says that redshift is not only caused by the motion of galaxies, but also by the loss of energy of light as it travels across the universe. This idea is not new, 
It was proposed by a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky in 1929, and it is called the tired light theory. However, this theory was rejected by most scientists because it contradicted other observations and predictions of the standard model of cosmology. Gupta also claims that we can reconcile the tired light theory with the standard model, if we also allow for another possibility. That some of the fundamental physical rules that govern the interactions of particles change over time. This idea is also not new. It was suggested by a British physicist named Paul Dirac in 1937, and it is called the varying constants hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, some of the constants that we use to describe the strength of forces and the masses of particles are not really constant, but vary slowly over time. Gupta combines these two ideas and proposes a new model that can explain some of the puzzles and mysteries that we see in the universe. For example, his model can account for the existence of stars and galaxies that seem to be older than the universe itself by extending the time available for their formation and evolution. His model can also explain why some galaxies are much smaller than we expect by reducing their mass due to the loss of energy of light. Gupta's model also challenges another key assumption that we use to calculate the age of the universe, the cosmological constant. This is a term that represents the dark energy that drives the accelerated expansion of the universe. Gupta replaces this term with a new one that depends on the varying constants and shows that this can affect our estimate of the age of the universe significantly. By applying his model to various observations and data, Gupta arrives at a new value for the age of the universe, 27 billion years, with an uncertainty of about 40 million years. This value is consistent with his model, but not with our current theories and assumptions. So, who is right? And what does this mean for our understanding of the cosmos? If Gupta's study is correct, and our universe is 27 billion years old, then this would have huge implications for our perspective and vision of the cosmos. It would mean that we have to revise and update many of our theories and models that are based on the assumption of a younger universe. It would also mean that we have to rethink some of the fundamental questions and mysteries that we have about the origin and fate of the universe. For example, one of the most intriguing questions in cosmology is, what happened before the Big Bang? If the Big Bang was the beginning of time and space, then it doesn't make sense to ask what was before it. But if the Big Bang was not the beginning, but just a phase transition or a bounce in a larger and older universe, then it is possible that there was something before it. Maybe another universe, or a different state of matter and energy. Maybe even a multiverse, with many parallel universes. Another question is, what is the shape and size of the universe? If the universe is finite, then it has a boundary and an edge. But what is beyond that edge? And what is the shape of that boundary? Is it flat, curved, or something else? If the universe is infinite, then it has no boundary or edge. But how can we comprehend something that has no end or limit? And how can we measure something that has no scale or reference? A third question is, what is the destiny and fate of the universe? If the universe is expanding faster and faster due to dark energy, then it will eventually reach a state where everything will be so far apart that nothing will be visible or reachable. This is called the Big Rip scenario, where even atoms and molecules will be torn apart by the expansion of space. But if dark energy is not constant, but variable, as Gupta suggests, then maybe the expansion of the universe will slow down or reverse at some point. Maybe there will be a big crunch, where everything will collapse back into a singularity. Or maybe there will be a big bounce, where a new cycle of expansion and contraction will begin. These are just some of the questions and mysteries that we have about our universe, and that could be affected by Gupta's study. Of course, his study is not conclusive or definitive. It is just one possible alternative to our current understanding. It still needs to be tested and verified by more observations and experiments. It still needs to be challenged and debated by other scientists and experts. It still needs to be accepted or rejected by the scientific community and the public. But whether Gupta's study is right or wrong, it shows us how amazing and fascinating our universe is. It shows us how much we have learned and discovered about it, but also how much we still don't know and understand. It shows us how curious and creative we are as human beings, but also how humble and open-minded we need to be. It shows us how old our universe really is, 
but also how young we are in exploring it. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.